One of the most popular movie heroes of this, or indeed any age, is, was, still was, and almost certainly will be, the character Cooperman. <laughs> The second Cooperman movie, Cooperman 8, is currently being shot in a car park in Basingstoke. And that's where we caught up with them for this location report. And why not? Or to put it another way, why? <laughs> Cooperman, I believe this movie has a very large budget. Uh, that's right, yes, it's uh, an African paracut blue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, not a budget, a budget. I believe you have a large budget for this movie. Oh, oh that's right, yes, 48 pounds plus lunch about <laughs> Now, about the movie, can you give the plot away? Oh, well, we tried to, but the man we gave it to gave it us back. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great features of the Cooperman movies are the special effects. Uh, uh, I always watch film 88. 89? Oh, is this still on? <laughs> in this scene, Cooperman has just dashed across three continents to let the gas man in when he discovers a woman trapped under a car. Oh, OK, 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 just, just leave this to me. I'll, I'll go and go to hell. Everything's all right. I, don't worry, I phoned the AA. They'll be here in about 20 minutes. In another dramatic scene, Cooperman discovers a young woman threatening to throw herself off the top of a skyscraper and, needless to say, commit suicide. scenes can't be shot with real actors, and so very, very detailed models must be used instead, as in this scene where Cooperman comes to the rescue of a runaway train. <laughs> also starring in this movie with Cooperman is his faithful assistant, Blunder Woman. <laughs> what's your role? Cheese and pickle. No, no, what's your role in the movie? Oh, I'm kidnapped by aliens and taken back to their country. It's a strange and cosmic land, completely different to our own. I see, and where are you filming this? Outside Sainsbury's. <laughs> One of the hardest scenes Blunder Woman had to film was when she climbed at the side of a very tall building. To create the illusion, the pavement was painted like a wall and the camera tilted 90 degrees. <laughs> Undoubtedly, the most difficult scenes in the Cooperman movies are the flying sequences. Other films have used trick wires and pulleys to convey the impression of flying. What does Cooperman use? Director, air on IG string. <laughs> We're dropping from a very tall building with a camera underneath, so it looks like he's flying towards it. All right, lad, is it? Thanks, lad. Right. What is it, lad? Is it, is it uh, up there, is it? Right, so it's just a straightforward. Right, OK, it's all in there. Wouldn't that be very dangerous? Absolutely. Could cause a lot of damage to the camera. <laughs> I went to Cooperman. Couldn't you harm him? That's a good point. Never thought of that before. <laughs> Cooperman, you're about to jump off the top of a 60-foot building without any protection. Does that worry you? Oh, no, no. See, I have complete confidence in my director. Yes, but last week, 
He told you to jump through a plate glass window and you ended up in hospital. Oh, yes, but that was my fault. Why? Well, you see, he told me that I was completely to blame and that's good enough for me. Yes. Well, how do you intend playing this scene? Same as I did at rehearsals with ten bottles of malt whiskey inside me. So you don't intend to use a stunt double, then? What, miss out on all that drink? <laughs> According to those that know him, Cooperman is the type of man who doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. All the words stupid or easily misled either. What he does know is that to make movies, you need guts, determination, and a head that bounces. Action! Superman will film this same scene 15 times before they eventually decide to cut it from the movie altogether and try something else. We're going to do that again. It was fine, actually, but I want to do one for, just for me. <laughs> Cooperman 8 opens next Thursday and is due to close the day after. The next Cooperman movie, Cooperman 27, to be shot in Leighton Buzzard and the Luton General and District Hospital Casualty Unit has already been withdrawn even before it's been made. And you might say, why not? And in a sense, you'd be right. <laughs>